Welcome back to Breadfruit Studios. Today we're exploring the fascinating world of color and its role in shaping the emotional impact of films. The 60-30-10 rule, a simple yet profound guideline that breaks down the usage of colors in films. Take a look at visually distinct films. The use of color is never random. There's an intelligence at work, that's color theory. If a piece of furniture is a particular color in a scene, that's by design. If the walls are a different color than white or cream, that's intentional. The color of clothes, umbrellas, or a car, it's all done because the filmmakers want to make a statement through the clever and careful use of color. My father gave me this card when I turned 18. It's been my good luck charm ever since. One popular formula to simplify color design is the 60-30-10 rule. This rule is as old as art itself and is commonly seen in interior design, paintings, and of course, film. The rule is simple. 60% of your frame is one dominant color, 30% is a secondary color, and the last 10% is a highlight color. 60% dominant color sets the tone and mood, 30% secondary color complements the dominant one, and 10% accent color adds that pop of vibrancy and visual interest. The dominant color sets the mood of the scene. It gives depth and a three-dimensional feel when you include variations of that color. You don't want everything to look flat. The dominant color helps establish the tone. Is it a bright, happy scene, a dark, moody one. The dominant color is crucial. For instance, in La La Land, the dominant use of yellow creates a warm and nostalgic atmosphere throughout the film. Many think this can all be achieved in post-production while color grading the film, changing colors on a computer after filming. While this approach is possible, it's impractical. You never get the same feel as with real objects of that color. It's cheaper to buy a blue sweater than to color grade a white one into blue in every shot. Production design handled by the art department determines the colors of the set, costumes, and props. The 60-30-10 rule helps guide these decisions. The secondary color, making up 30% of the frame, complements the dominant one, adding depth and realism. Without it, everything can look artificial. For example, in The Matrix, the green hue serves as a powerful secondary color, contrasting with the dominant dark tones and adding a futuristic feel. The highlight color at 10% is used sparingly to draw attention to important elements in the frame. It's about making a statement. Some films use only two colors. For example, the Batman uses a moody black and white look with a secondary color for contrast. Uncharted contrasts brown and blue to create a dynamic visual experience. Orange and teal are popular contrasting colors because they suit human skin tones well. Mad Max Fury Road is another excellent example of the 60-30-10 color rule. The dominant color in many scenes is the warm, sandy tones of the desert making up about 60% of the frame. The secondary color often includes the cool blues of the sky or the muted metallics of the vehicles, contributing about 30%. The highlight color, such as the vibrant red of Furiosa's rig or the striking colors of the explosions, draws the audience's attention to key elements in the action-packed scenes. When choosing colors, consider the actor's skin tones. What looks good on one skin tone might not work on another. For low-budget filmmakers, start with the furniture you have as the complementary color. Choose a dominant color for the walls. It's inexpensive to paint. Add a highlight color purposefully to make a statement. This approach makes your film look professional and intentional, all for the cost of a bucket of paint. Remember, color design must be harmonious unless you're making a strong color statement. The 60-30-10 rule is a powerful tool in your filmmaking arsenal. By mastering the art of color balance, directors can elevate their storytelling to new heights and leave a lasting impact on viewers. Feeling inspired? 
why not try experimenting with the 60-30-10 rule in your own creative projects? Share your results and insights in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to Breadfruit Studios, and click the notification bell to stay updated on our future filmmaking episodes. Until next time, happy filming.